What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Guys, today what we're doing in this episode is we're gonna be talking about and I'm gonna be showing you clips of the biggest five bass ever caught on film on this channel. This is gonna range from largemouth, smallmouth, and even peacock bass. All of the clips that you're gonna see in this video, I'm going to attach the full video to those clips. So when you see your favorite catch, you can rewind it a little bit and you can go click on and watch in, in its entirety your favorite catch from this video. And if you're new here to the channel, what I do is I just go out and I have fun fishing, guys. I go peacock bass fishing, uh, largemouth fishing, snakehead fishing, all kinds of fish, saltwater inshore, offshore, everything, freshwater, everything you can think of, I do here on this channel. I actually currently live here in South Florida. That's where I'm stationed. That's where the army has me stationed right now so with that being said guys coming in at clip number one the very first time i fished here in south florida with my friend ryan i broke my pb four times in one day check it out oh tj's <laughs> first back to me that's a bigger one dude that's a toad that oh. is a giant is that a pb, uh, oh, <laughs> that's, a PB. that's a pb oh my god tj tj trailer hook on him yo that's a six that's a six. That's a six. Oh That's a giant. <laughs> Bro, and my camera just died as I'm reeling it in. No way. That thing's huge. I'm telling you, that's six and a half, bro. All day. Guys, look at the size of this fish TJ just plucked. PB? Yeah, definitely. PB. Definitely. Let's go ahead and release guy, him. We're going to try to get this guy released without getting eaten by that non-foot gator. Oh, giant gator around here. Let's be careful. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That was pretty cool, right? Four times in one day I broke my PB and that was just the biggest one that I caught. Coming up next though, guys, is probably my favorite fish catch of all time. If you know anything about smallmouth bass fishing, wait till you see this clip. This was my first smallmouth bass that I ever caught. Check it out. Oh, we're up the... Oh my god. We got a good one. I don't know what this is, but we were hooked up to something good. What is it? Holy smokes. Guys, I don't even know what to say right now. This is a six pound smallmouth. Guys, I'm shaking right now. I literally don't even know what to say. This thing is a toad, dude. Oh my God. What a beautiful, absolutely beautiful fish this is the biggest bass that i've ever caught and it's a smallmouth at that absolutely mind-blowing right i caught a six pound smallmouth as the first one i ever caught guys when i hooked into that thing i thought i had a tree stump coming in next we have another very very special catch guys i was chasing this specific fish for what seemed like weeks and weeks and weeks. It was the biggest peacock bass that I ever caught, guys, and I could not be more excited to share this with you guys. Check it out. Oh my God. I didn't even think he was gonna take it right there, dude. Oh my God. Holy sh! This is freaking massive, dude. I don't even know. Oh my god. Please. Yeah, I am. Let's see if he's ready to go. Yep, he's ready to go. That was absolutely insane, guys, right? I know when you heard my drag screaming like that, I know you're instantly thinking, I've got that loose drag going on. Guys, I promise you, when you're fishing for peacock bass, you do not use loose drag. These fish fight harder than any largemouth and any smallmouth that I've ever caught combined. Peacock bass are so aggressive and they fight so hard because when they were brought here, they came from the Amazon River in Brazil. And those fish in that waterway fight to survive every single day. They are not the top predators of the food chain. So they are constantly fighting to, to not only live, but to eat. So another absolutely insane catch. Moving right along guys, we actually have another very unique, very awesome catch, okay? So I caught this fish doing the traveling tackle box challenge, okay? And what that was is my friend Todd sent me this tackle box that he picked out and he put some lures in it and he sent it to me to make it, it was a challenge video, right? I had two things in there that I normally never would have thrown, guys. Check it out. Let me just look at this. There's an alligator sign right here. Oh, 
God. I got a good one, guys. I got a good one. Oh, guys, this might. I got to land it. I got to land it. Oh, God. Down, 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 down. Guys, I'm going in the water for this. I'm going in the water. 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 I'm going in the water, guys. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, down. Oh my God. Oh, what did I just catch? Oh my God. I just broke my PB, guys. Look at this fish. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. There she goes. Oh my God. That was my new PB. That was my brand new PB. Did you guys think I was going in the water or what? Anyways, that was an awesome catch. I never, like I said, I never would have used that Yamamoto Swim Senko before, especially in that color, but I ended up catching what was my PB. Speaking of PBs, moving right along, we have my new PB in which I was filming a video, the gold versus silver fishing lure challenge. Third cast into this day, guys, I snatched this thing and it was absolutely epic. Check it out. These are some grown ones and I don't want to mess with those. I don't want nothing to do with them. Oh, there we go. No joke. We are hooked up. What a lucky, lucky. Oh my God, this is a No, the gator, the gator. The gator's gonna get him. The gator's gonna get him. The gator's gonna get him. This is a PB. This is a PB and the gator's gonna get him. No, 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 no. No. Oh my God. Yo. Oh my God, look at the gator. Oh God, this is a PB. This is a, this is a freaking 10 pounder. Oh my God. God. I just saved this fish from the gator. All right guys, new PB. This is absolutely, this is an eight pounder all day long. Maybe even more. I, there's three big gators right here. They're massive. So there he is right there. That's the one that chased the fish in. So like I said, all right, when you let these fish go here, you don't get in the water and play with them because you don't never know where those gators are gonna be. Look at him compared to my, like I wear a size 11. Like, look at that, tip of the, like, uh, dude, he's massive. All right, there he goes, he's back. All right, guys, there you have it. The five biggest fish I've ever caught here on this channel. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smack the thumbs up button, okay? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on if you're new here. Join the Yak Squad. Anyways, guys, I appreciate all your love and all your support. It, it means the world to me. It truly does. And I'm looking forward to having everybody new here watching this video around the channel. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch y'all next time.